What's up? Chooch out here riding the King Song S20. Now dudes, this wheel has been extremely impressive and if anybody's out there looking at this and you aren't into electric unicycles, this is an amazing way to save gas, commute, also have fun, and just change up, change it up, man. You can literally, especially with summertime coming in and good weather coming up, man, you can get on this thing and not even fill up your tank, man. I don't fill up my truck, but like maybe once every month. And I still do road trips, I still go places and all that, but this is what I primarily use. And this is what saves the huge amount of gas, man. When you're just sitting at red lights, the stop and go traffic, cranking up in the mornings, and you save so much gas not using your car every single day. That's what really racks up, you know, you fill up your tank, you use it five days in a row, and you don't really even go that far. And then you look at your tank, it's like, dude, where did all my gas go? This man, it just was roasted sitting at red lights and stop signs, bro. So this is the way to go. I'm telling you what, um, this is just, you can see, man, you can scream through traffic. And anybody out there that lives in a city, this is what you got to get. And especially this King Song S20 with suspension, man, this thing is awesome. It has extreme power on it. It's a 126 volt wheel. You can go about 40 miles on a charge on this thing and it has suspension that works incredibly well. Now in this video right here, the suspension is very loose, guys. I was riding black diamond mountain bike trails the day before this doing huge drops. And what actually happened is I was doing so many drops, man. I, I descended from probably 8,000 feet to 5,000 feet down one of the craziest trails I've ever done in my life. Uh, the footage is coming on that. If y'all throw it to su subscribe, y'all are going to be able to see me riding this same wheel. You know, I'm in a suit riding through the city. This same wheel on Black Diamond Mountain Bike Trails doing huge drops. I'm talking drops. They're like five foot just straight drops. And what happened is it actually made my preload. So you can adjust your preload back there just by, it's like, just like any coil shock where you just tighten it down. But hitting all those huge, huge drops actually made that preload turn a little bit in there and it loosened my suspension up. But also doing all those dr drops was a good thing. It really loosened everything up and got everything flowing good and working good. It didn't loosen any bolts or anything like that, but it just got that spring broken in. It got all those uh, joints in there, all those little you know components and everything just to work and flow well. And you're seeing that right here. That's why this is so loose in this video is because the day before where I was actually riding it on those extreme mountain bike trails. And so I tightened it up a little bit. I went home and tightened up my preload after this and, um, you know, made it a little bit stiffer because you can definitely tell in this video it's a, a little bit too loose. But it does show very well how the suspension works, even over small stuff, because it can engage it really easily with it. You know, you can see it's loose, very loose right there. But anyways, dudes, it's working great. This wheel is phenomenal. And I've had a total blast, a total blast on this thing. It has impressed me beyond anything I could believe. You can see it looks a little bit different. I have the um, Grizzla pads on there right now. Those are the orange pads. I removed the stock side pads off of there and just put these on there. I like these a lot better. It's a lot simpler. Um, the other ones were just too bulky. They were actually even more weight that added to the whole thing and they were just it was just too much you could even see this opens up the whole back end of this thing where you can see the suspension way better and it just makes the wheel look way simpler and in all which i like i mean the power pads really are what added the whole look to the s20 and the renders and everything like that i mean without those power pads you can see it doesn't look anything like it did in the renders and whatnot these are just the orange Grizzly pads. I think it would look great with some black Grizzly pads or some red Grizzly pads on here. And, I mean, it would be, I just love the look of it. I think it's it, it's not for everybody. Those um, stock power pads give it an aggressive, you know, um, S20 Eagle look to it. But this is just, you know, I love the way that these power pads feel on it. And it rides very well with the... Uh, power pads up on the back right there where you can use the rear part of your leg you can brake really well and you can actually engage the suspension it gives you a better lever point 
to brake where you can actually push that suspension down when you go to brake instead of it's it's so much better guys i'm telling you you can actually engage the suspension upon braking and with the other power pads you just couldn't do that these work way better way better dudes i'm telling you you can use the code chooch tech if you want to check these out at grizzlepads.com for a discount chooch tech all together but i really do like them they're great anyways dudes this wheel right here is you can pre-order it below if it interests you from any of the links below it gives me a little kickback at no extra cost to you it's gonna be 3200 bucks when this thing comes out in may 3300 watt motor about 40 i got it up to 45 miles an hour the other day dudes it rips it's fast 20 inch knobby tire on this thing with a really beefy rim this rim is overbuilt they're having problems with uh, dented rims and other models so they overbuilt this thing guys it is incredible how beefy and strong this rim is on this wheel don't worry about ever having a problem with it weighs about 80 pounds and one thing to really point out is i would literally buy this wheel straight up because of how beefy the the rim is on it i think that was one thing that needed to be improved on all the other models and i think one reason to just buy this wheel even if it didn't have suspension wasn't 126 volts you know didn't have all the great things it has i think you would literally want to buy this wheel just because it has the upgraded and beefy indestructible rim on it and i don't think anybody's talking about that actually nobody's talking about that but the rim on it is straight up a huge reason to buy this wheel it works i mean it's literally the most beefy indestructible well-built um rim out there on any electric unicycle you could literally sit there and beat this thing with a sledgehammer and it wouldn't do anything to it but i think the whole build quality on this wheel is exceptional i really do guys once you take off the side pads on that thing those are the only really plastic looking component you know on the on the wheel once you put on some like grizzly pads or some you know clark pads or something like that and you just take those off and you can actually see the metal components on this thing and you can just see that whole suspension arm on it and just it opens up makes it look so much better man it really does once you take those little winglets off of there but anyways dudes this thing's cooking around cruising i love it for off-road just playing around on on trails being able to use it to commute saving gas this thing is awesome and i think it is a great all-around wheel if you want something that does it all they can go trail riding you know go to the jump park you know hit hit jumps on this thing like you wouldn't believe ride downstairs do your urban commutes i think it has plenty of range for most people out there um i straight up man you get one full charge of riding on this thing and you're gonna be pretty much done for the you know that you're gonna you're gonna be um the core workout this thing gives you is crazy you don't think you're gonna be a, a lazy person riding this thing man you're engaging those core muscles like you wouldn't believe that's like a 45 minute ab workout man it really is great fun and i think um i think everybody would enjoy it i, th I really especially in a time like right now man you can just save so much money and for anybody out there you know saving 50 bucks a week right now it ain't a bad thing i'm telling you that dude it's a, it's really nice actually but anyways dudes it's been chooch y'all enjoyed the video throw the thumbs up i'll see you dudes in the next one and another thing to point out is the pedals on this guys um i'm i'm loving the stock pedals it comes with and a lot of wheels did not come with good pedals which is your only contact point to the wheel a lot of them came with you know just grip tape or some rubber on top of you know really really cheap pedals these are nice man they're actually solid um heavy duty pedals with spikes on them that come stock and i mean they actually grip into your your shoe and everything the only time where i really would like more, more aggressive pedals or aftermarket pedals is when my my feet get wet and i think um i think the guys out there that make aftermarket pedals are still going to have a market for them you know i like i really think that people are still going to buy them even though these are nice pedals people may want something a little bit more aggressive but i think for the standard rider i'm glad to see something like this that's actually substantial and nice you know so it's going to be satisfying for most people out there but i i don't think it's going to completely do away with the guys that make the awesome cnc pedals that have the aggressive spikes in them so that's a good thing anyways dudes i'm out this time ben chooch i'll see you dudes in the next one